All right, we are going to demonstrate the basics of Keynote to help us better prepare to make a digital smile design. Personally, my favorite is Keynote. Um, we're just going to start a new document and go through some of the basics. Uh, if you get proficient with Keynote, this is a really simple process to do. It still takes time, but a really simple process to do. So hopefully, this will help you be better prepared. So here's the basics. Here's your slide. Here's the standard fields that come up. Uh, we just chose a blank white presentation. Um, we're gonna here's you know the same thing that's similar to, to Microsoft. You click on these tabs and it'll help you see some of the um, different techniques you can use in PowerPoint or different tools. Um, over here is where you'll jump back and forth from the format to animate the slides and just different document settings. So I want to focus on this for just a second. Um, we'll actually come back to that. Up here are also some little shortcuts you can use. If you right click here, you can change the toolbar. Um, you can play the slideshow. You can zoom in on it. Uh, there's just a lot of different things you can do. But here, I don't like this standard 8 by 10 uh, slide when I'm doing these presentations. So I'll come again to documents and standard size. We're going to go to widescreen. I like that much better. Um, you can zoom in and out to see it. So there's 100%. There you go. You can see that size. Now if you had a trackpad or on your mouse, you can program your mouse. Oops, sorry that you can zoom in and out by using your fingers. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use just the standard zoom. Um, you can get rid of this navigator, slides only. If you want more room, you can just do that. I like the navigator. It helps me jump through um, slides much easier. Um, right now, I really want to change the theme. If you set your mouse up correctly in with your Mac, you can right click still similar to what you do with the PC and you can create a new slide. In this, you can come over here and change your theme. Oh, sorry, not change your theme. We want to go back to format and then you can change the style of the slide. Usually what I'll do is just go to the blank one. Um, but you can scroll through and change it to whatever you want. But for the smile design, blank is usually the easiest. Again, so there's your title page. Um, we're going to do and then I usually put and practice. Does that make sense? So I would do something like that. Very simple. Uh, you can get as creative as you want. You can even put your logo in there. Um, if you want to change the fonts of those, you can. And that's similar. You have to click on it and then go and to the text, and you can change the font to whatever you want. Um, so kind of very similar to PowerPoint there. Uh, let's see. Go back to. You have to click on a sl uh, a text box to you know change the font, the color, uh, the character, bullet spacing, left aligned. Uh, right aligned, justified, indent more, center this in the box that you're in, or put it at the top. Those are all just normal things. In a smile design, these probably aren't as important. We're going to focus more on mainly the photo editing and alignment software within Keynote. And that's what I think makes Keynote a simple and more efficient way to do a smile design. Uh, if you wanted to add text anytime, you can add a text box, click on it, move it. Uh, again, you would come over here and change the size of the text to whatever you would want. You can change the style. Um, you can change the color, and that pops up, and there's actually several options to pick a color. This is simple, just gives you multiple, just a color, like pencils to choose from. Um, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can make it bold. Some fonts don't go bold. Uh, but that's the basic things there. When you arrange it, here you go to this tab. This is where if you click on any item in it, you can flip it. 
Um, you can rotate it, change the angle, which is important because we'll use these um, buttons a lot as we go through a smile design. You can lock it in place. You can unlock it. When you lock it, it means it doesn't move. Um, you can align it in the center or align it in the left. There's just a lot of things you can do. This is an important one. Say we pull this, and right now it's in front of the text. You can pull it to the back, so now it's behind. You can pull it to the front. You can send backward, which steps it back one by one, uh, or you can bring it forward. You can layer multiple things at a time and bring them forward and back. Okay, we had a little glitch there. I'll have to go edit that out, or maybe not. So those are some of the things that are important with this. Okay. Let's see, what else do we need to animate is important to understand. So over you can animate text. You know, you can just make it appear or do whatever you'd like there. You can, when you're in animate, click on it. You can do a preview or build order and you can see it. So you preview it and it'll do it for you. You can change it to after animation, on click, delayed, all these different things. Um, again, not that important, but you may want to do that in your smile design. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that animation. There we go. Oh, I deleted the text box too. Um, but what, where animation to me is important, if you're going to actually use Keynote to show it to the patient, then you come over here, you can click on a slide and shift and click on the next one. And you can add a transition effect. It changes that now to a transition. And you can go and I like to, where is it? Just dissolve. See, it just cross fades pretty easily. I usually slow it down or speed it up to about 0.6 seconds because I just don't like it if it goes too slow. And now as you transition from each slide, it will slowly fade into the other one. At this point, get rid of the corners there. I want to just copy this slide. So Command C, Command V, you can just make several slides. So now you copy the same formatting transitions between each slide. Those are the basics of Keynote. Oh, a couple other things. You can go up to File. If you wanted to save this as a PDF, you still can uh, by exporting to PDF. When it comes up, it will allow you to choose good, better, and best quality. And then you'd go to next, and you can see you can actually change it in all these different types of formats. But PDF, you go to next, and you would pick the folder and change the title. And now you have a document that you can open up on any computer, whether you have Keynote, or you have a Mac or PC which in our office is what we do most of the time. We turn it to change it to a PDF so that now we can open it on any computer. We don't, we're not a Mac-based um, system for our operatories. We are a PC, but we do most of our presentations, editing, and flyers on a Mac. So that's why we like using Keynote. Uh, okay, a couple other things to know. You go up to, say you're ready to start, and you want to put a picture in. You go up to insert and you just choose. So then you go to the files. Oh, you know, I got to open up that sample case here. Good. I unzipped it and you'd find your files and I'm going to go to the photos and let's go to this view. And you just pick the photo that you want for random. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this photo. Um, so that it brings it in. It fits it to your page. These are some well, these are some of the amazing features about Keynote that I really enjoy. So you can size it right there, and it kept the aspect ratio fixed already. Um, you can come to format and you can size it here if you want. See how it changes it. You can type it in whatever you want. This is important to always make sure it's on. In Keynote, it's a default. Um, that it's always on, but if you don't want it on, then you just go click it off. This constrains right the proportions that when you size it, it is maintaining their height to width ratio. Um, I usually never take it off. 
So that's easy to work with. You can again flip it. Um, you can rotate it. And this is some things I really enjoy. If you go, well, in image, you can go into these settings and basically simple settings to adjust the exposure. So you can make it darker or lighter. Uh, you can change the contrast in here pretty easily. I mean, you can't do this in PowerPoint. This is a much better um, software. Saturation, all those different things if you'd want to do that. You can change the levels of whiteness uh, versus darkness or take it away. Um, your value right there. So those are great. The other thing I love is you can go here on the image and edit the mask. Let me show you what that does. Edit the mask now changes these little squares to black squares. And if you click on them, it changes the shape or crops uh, your picture. But this is something really interesting. So now you have this. You can actually click on both. So I'm going to click back behind it. Now I'm clicking on the full picture. And you can change it. You can move it around within this mask. So if you notice you took your pictures and they're kind of off-centered and you need to move it a little bit, you can do a lot of editing right within Keynote. Ideally still, when we, we start talking about a smile design, you want to get your photos to as ideal as possible, which is taking them in a specific orientation perfectly, you know, parallel to their face, right directly on, so every image can line up one with another. Um, but this is great, great editing tools there. So you can come back, you can get it back to normal. Um, let's get back there, let's put it back to normal just for fun. Really cool editing tools there. So we're going to be done there. Um, let's go ahead and shrink this back down. That's a cool feature. There's another cool feature under the image. It's called Instant Alpha. Um, what you do is you pick on a color and you can left click on it and start dragging your mouse and see how it's changing the percentage. And you're basically photoshopping out a certain color. Works really well on something that's well defined like that where you had a you know black background and you can get rid of it. You see how that works? You can even go a little bit further, maybe. Oh, I took took way too, so you don't want to do that over there. So that's the basics, and it's kind of cool. Then you go done, and now you have a, a Photoshopped image that is pretty cool. Um, I don't use that too much, honestly, in our smile design, just because it just complicates things a little bit. Uh, if we go back to Instant Alpha, you can reset it, and it comes back. Uh, so on some presentations, it's pretty fun to do that. It's not as nice as Photoshop going in and cropping out uh, certain areas of your photo, but at least if you want it, it's there. Um, you can also find those same features under Format, under Image. Uh, as long as you're clicked, clicked on an image, Format Image, you can edit the mask, reset the mask, uh, Instant Alpha, all those things are still right there. Another thing, you click on the photo or image and you go to style. This is really important. I don't really do anything with this during this phase, but opacity, it's a simple thing right there. You can change the opacity. And we'll show you why that's important in a, in a separate uh, presentation on how to do a smile design with Keynote, uh, how to overlay pictures, change the opacity using Instant Alpha and the arrangement tools to line up photos much more easily. Um, so that's a really neat feature. Uh, another neat feature, again, you can add a text box. It brings up text, which we talked about this just a minute ago. And you can have the ability to modify the text. Um, again, you can right click. Hang on, let's get my image right click. And you can cut an image. Go to the next slide and paste it. It puts it right in the same exact spot that you had it oriented in the previous slide, which is important. You can also have the image highlighted and Command C, which is copy, and then go to the next slide, click on the slide, and Command V. 
don't do it. It didn't do it. So command C. Well, let's go right here. Click on it. Command C, and we'll come back to this and command V, and it cut it pastes it. And then go back and delete that image if you'd like. Oh, let's see. Those are the main things that are important with Keynote. So we went over how to get new slides, you know, what these buttons do over here, changing the document size, um, inserting the images that you'd want. Oh, you know, there's another one we need to go over. The shape button here. Um, you click on the shape, and we're going to want to learn how to draw. So see this little guy right here? You click on it. And you will then click around your image and you can make a shape. So now you have a shape that you can use. Um, that And what's cool about this, again, you click on the shape. You can just make it whatever you want. And once you click off of it, you can actually go back in and readjust the shape, which again, you can't do in, in Keynote or PowerPoint. So then you have these ones that just the square ones allow you to move the whole line. The round ones, that happened because I clicked really fast, allow you to bend the line. You can always create a round one in between and it bends it. See that? You can change how you bend it. And you can change how you bend it. Um, you can change the color and prop, uh, properties of it. Change it to blue. You can change the thickness of it. Um, you can change the line style. Um, those are all great things you can do uh, with your outline, which again will show you how to do that or why that's important. You can also highlight it, right click, copy, right click, paste, and go back to a range and you can flip it, you can rotate it, all those same things right within the software pretty easily. When you're all said and done, you can, uh, it'll save for you. You just click save and then you pick the folder where you'd like it to go and put a title. Um, you can also say, this is really neat, you can say export to a PowerPoint or a PDF, uh, just depending on what kind of computers you want to share this on. A lot of times we'll save it as a keynote, as a PDF, and as a PowerPoint so that we can be ready for any computer situation that we're in. So ultimately, that's the basics of Keynote that you'll need to understand for a Smile Design presentation.